What's up, ladies and gents? God damn, the sun's bright. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Shaka Zulu, and I'm back here for another video. And today, guys, today, your boy just got off work, tired, sweaty. Jesus, man, shout out to everyone that's out there grinding, out there working that day-to-day -day work, man. I got much love and respect to you. But today, guys, as you can tell by the title, I am gonna be doing a response video, okay, guys? And to start out, I just want to say this is all love, no hate. You know what I'm saying? I got love for the boy So Pins, because as you guys can tell from the title, we're going to be talking about So Pins and responding to his question. Are, um, are cartridges the root cause, basically, for a higher tolerance? Or does cartridges cause like a higher tolerance? Um, cause I was on TikTok and I actually did a response on TikTok, but, um, I just felt like a YouTube video would be a little bit better, um, to explain it. And then, you know, it's just some more content for you guys. And like, I just wanted to put it out there more, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then also say, because I don't want people thinking like, man, I'm hating on soap pens or anything. This is not hate towards soap pens. This is you know it's just friendly you know a friendly little argument not even an argument because we're not arguing or anything but it's just me you know you know playing devil's advocate i could say if you could say um because you know uh we are people call us influencers and i hate hate it when people call us influencers Be i like i get that we do influence people and stuff like that but i also want to be able to promote people um, thinking for themselves man go out there and think for yourselves you don't have to follow every person out there you know obviously there's some things that are freaking wrong and bad that you shouldn't do but not everything is black and white remember that so i was looking at tiktok and i'm gonna show you guys the video and this is what he said just so i can get a, a little refresher before i start talking you know what i'm saying this is what he said Okay, let me pause that real quick, guys. Let me just pause that. Uh, so, he says, you know, vape carts are killing your tolerance and people are abusing it just to get through their day. Um, you know, obviously some people, they need that weed for anxiety. Some people have medical issues and stuff like that. Me personally, I'm gonna say I do abuse it, okay? I do abuse it, but I don't just do it just, I don't know. It's not like I can function off of it and then like, I just like being high. Like, I like hitting my pen throughout the day while I'm at work, bored as hell on the computer, typing in some shit, fixing up some shit to go get sent out. You know what I'm saying? That's basically my life. And it's just kind of boring doing that. So getting a little high, it gets me more motivation to go work. Not to work. I mean, I already, I already got motivation to wake up every morning just to go to work. Honestly, man, we gotta go get go get that bag. But you know, weed keeps me going. And honestly, it just keeps. I don't know. It just it just makes me want to work harder. I don't know. When I smoke weed at work and just period, like I'll go fucking clean up the room or some shit. I'll go do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll go freaking. Uh, I'll go super ham at work. Like it's hella funny, bro. I'll be like super focused at work and shit, trying to get everything ready and prepped up and stuff, and entered in on the computers and stuff. So like, you know, like I do. I don't. I don't think I do it to get through my day. I just get through it to enhance my day. And I feel like that's something that he's not saying. I feel like, 
you know, a lot of people, they use it to enhance their day. You know what I'm saying? They're not necessarily using it to abuse it or anything, even though there are a lot of people out there that use it to abuse it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people use it to abuse it. And, you know, if you're going through something like depression or all these type of things, just remember there's always people out there to talk to. Don't just be smoking just to get through your day. Remember, you know, talking to someone will always help. You know what I'm saying? If that's the type of person you are, you know what I'm saying? But um, also I wanted to talk about like, because um, he said um, it kind of, you know, it hurts your tolerance. I can see that it hurts your tolerance. I think any type of smoking hurts your tolerance at all, like period. Like if there wasn't carts, people are smoking blunts all day, every day. Like I know people that work at the warehouse, wake up, smoke a blunt, going to work, first break, about to smoke a blunt on their 15 minute break. Goes to lunch, smokes another little blunt at lunch, and then they'll smoke another blunt when they go home at night. You know what I'm saying? Like people love smoking weed and they'll do it no matter what, if there was cartridges or not, in my opinion. Um, but right now it's just cartridges are a big thing and they're more of a convenience. Um, but the whole THC thing, I'm not sure about that because of the percentages, man, to be honest. Like how real are the percentages on cartridges? I feel like a lot of these companies are faking the percentages because they see be us as a consumer. It. They see that we love high percentages. So they boost up the percentage so that we go and buy the go buy the product. You know what I'm saying? So you also have to be watching out for percentages because the percentages doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you're going to get the best high. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, so that's just another thing I wanted to talk about, too. But all in all, like, yes, carts do build your tolerance, but I don't think that it's the main thing. I feel like a lot of people and me included, I smoke cartridges, but you know, I always got the weed on me. I always got at least a gram on me. That's usually how I smoke. You know, recently, you know, I just been going through stuff, so I don't have as much money to buy all those things. You know what I'm saying? So cartridges are cheap for me to buy and more convenient um because carts last me longer than weed if i get an eighth of weed today i'm gonna smoke that whole eighth of weed in one day you know what i'm saying but shout out to my boy so pins man sorry if i said your name wrong i be saying your name q pins a lot it's just that i don't know for some reason when i read it i always think q pins for some reason but so pins man shout out to my boy so pins i know that's your name it's just my brain is all funky wonky type shit but um shout out to freaking soap pens man i love your channel bro uh, I, you're fucking hilarious and at the end of the day the homie literally keeps it real and he really does give some good ass advice some of the stuff he talks about i agree wholeheartedly but these are one of the things that i feel like you know kind of reading in between the lines if you could say i'm not i'm not sure that's the right word to say but i just feel like you're a little bit reaching on that one uh, I just feel like people were gonna build up their tolerance no matter what and I feel like everything um, everything needs to be done in moderations you know what I'm saying everything needs to be done in moderations you know at the end of the day if you're smoking weed moderations if you don't you know if you want to keep your tolerance at that good tolerance where you get loaded every time it's all about moderation guys it's all about moderation just remember that um, and you'll be fine, man. You'll be fine. Um, you don't have to stop smoking cartridges. You know, they're not the root cause of why your tolerance is unless you literally smoke cartridges every day, all day. That's all you smoke. Then obviously the cartridges is what's making your tolerance um, make your tolerance high. You know what I'm saying? If you're just chiefing carts all day, that would be the same thing for weed, concentrate, edibles, you know what I'm saying? It's all the same for me, like all the same, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I kind of wanted to respond just, just because like, I don't think it's just cartridges, you know what I'm saying? We've been weed smokers and shit for years, man, smoking herb, getting high tolerances off herb and all that shit. But me personally, I, ha I don't think I've said this yet, but me personally, 
I don't have a high tolerance, bro. I smoke a lot, dude. I smoke a lot and I honestly don't have a high tolerance. You guys see me on the live stream, bro. I can't fake it, bro. I be lit, lit, bro. Like I be wanting to go to sleep after the live stream type shit. <laughs> like I be so lit. So that's just me though. Like I just feel like I've never had a high tolerance. Like there's something wrong with my body. And that's another thing also I want to talk about is, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm just winging this right now, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just winging it and more thoughts are coming to my brain. But that's another thing. Like, everybody's body is different. Everybody is not going to have a high tolerance. Some people are always going to get loaded off weed. And then there's always going to be those people that have super high tolerance. Like, I have a low tolerance and a lot of people got low tolerances out there more than you know. But I feel like a lot of people do have high tolerances. But um, that sucks. I feel bad for the people that always have high tolerance and have to smoke the, the most. Um, the only thing you can suggest for that is literally moderations. You don't have to stop smoking. Just smoke less. Maybe smoke at night or something like that. Um, back when I was in college, um, I used to smoke only at night. I used to like do my schoolwork and shit during the day. All the stuff that I was going to do during the day. And then at night, me and the homie, we'd smoke after doing some homework or something and then freaking go to sleep and get ready for school the next day. So that was kind of my routine back then. But obviously, as time went on, your boy came became a full time smoker. But um, shout out to everyone watching the vlog, man. I hope you guys don't think that I'm over here hating or anything. I just thought this would be a cool idea as a response video. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't respond to other youtubers and back when i used to do black gaijin um my old youtube japanese channel uh i used to do response videos to big j vloggers and stuff and i used to get views off of that so i thought that'd be a cool idea to just do on here if there's something like you know i don't agree with fully entirely you know i want to give my side also and put that out there for people to agree or disagree if you agree man that's cool if you disagree i understand i'm not i'm not saying that you know the homie so pins is wrong he's honestly he's got some truth in there but i just feel like he's just blaming cartridges too much like don't blame the cartridges you know i feel like it's more up to the person not the cartridge you know what i mean it's more up to the person not the cartridge moderations guys moderations um moderation always help and it because and that's moderation with cartridges weed concentrate edibles all that if you want a low tolerance moderation but shout out to everybody showing love man remember to like comment subscribe wait what the fuck i never say that at the end of the vlog man remember to eat breathe smoke weed man i don't give a fuck if you guys comment shout out to the ones that do comment and show love y'all the real ones man but remember to eat breathe smoke weed take care of yourselves guys man i'll be back for another vlog soon peace and you can zoom in whatever that's where i don't know Being free if I can no longer be me You don't like what you see So you rub up on my energy I just wanna be me Smoking on that end of wheat So I just close my eyes Because I know that one day Everything, everything's gonna be alright If I try, I know I fly Open your eyes and see past my flesh And see in my mind I open my heart you see all my scars, you see all the love that I push in the dark Always feel alone so I hop in my car, push button start I dream every day as I look to the stars Spilling my heart while I'm spitting these bars All alone and all alone On my own head yeah. Come on, get it to go <laughs>
stuff on the smoothest one. Smoothest. Ooh.